welcome back to Magnifying Glass TV, where we'll take you back to prehistoric times, a mysterious and wondrous world. On this journey, we will explore giant creatures, the most terrifying predators ever to exist on this planet, gigantic dinosaurs, unique snakes, and ferocious sharks. All are monstrous species that have ruled the land and sea for millions of years. We will learn about these monsters and ask the question, if they still existed today, what challenges would humanity face? Join us on this journey and consider which monster you think is the most terrifying. Please enjoy today's video to discover the fascinating and marvelous aspects of the prehistoric world. First, goes to the Megalodon Shark. Let's embark on a journey back in time to explore a world of oceanic dominators, with the pinnacle of that list being the Megalodon Shark. The Megalodon Shark existed from 15.9 to 2.6 million years ago during the Miocene epoch. It was the king of carnivorous animals, capable of turning itself into a massive submarine weighing up to 103 tons. Megalodon's teeth were formidable, totaling up to 276 teeth, with the longest reaching up to 21 centimeters. Despite its enormous size, thanks to its unique body structure, it could swim at astonishing speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. Compared to land-dwelling dinosaurs, we can say they were mere youngsters in the face of the Megalodon shark's authority. Evidence from collected specimens indicates that Megalodons could reach lengths of 18 to 20 meters. Perhaps you've heard of rare sightings off the coast of Japan, a creature believed by some scientists to be a modern-day megalodon. They are born with intelligence and a perfect body structure to become the rulers of the ocean. There was no match for this megalodon. Its extinction was natural, not due to competition with other species. The discovery of their fossils and teeth all over the world only further demonstrates the prosperity of this monstrous species. The Megalodon rightfully deserves the title of the most fearsome sea monster in the oceanic world. Let's explore an ancient creature from the sloth family, but with a striking difference, the Megatherium, a truly fearsome beast on land. Megatherium is known as one of the largest land mammals to have ever existed. This colossal creature could weigh up to 5 tons, nearly as much as an elephant. Megatherium's existence dates back from about 2 million to 8,000 years ago during the Ice Age. Standing at heights of up to 6 meters, they could be seen from afar as symbols of power and terror. The fossils of Megatherium have been relatively well preserved, allowing scientists to analyze its biological structure. The results reveal that they belong to the category of ancient world's hungry machines. During times of scarcity, Megatherium knew no limits when it came to food. They consumed everything, even Glyptodon, a large meat-eating creature comparable in size to a car. Megatherium's combat abilities were astonishing, and they could defeat any challengers daring enough to cross their path. During Prime, Megatherium's strength deterred any intrusion into territory. This demonstrates that, under the ancient sun, Megatherium stood as a monument to dominance and terror on land. In the third spot on this list, Quetzalcoatlus, the reigning champion of the ancient animal world that could fly. Quetzalcoatlus, a giant pterosaur, tops the list of enormity in the flying animal world, once dominating the skies around 68 million years ago. What's particularly remarkable about them is that they had very few rivals. Even the largest and most ferocious of dinosaurs could potentially become prey for Quetzalcoatlus. These giant flying reptiles lived in North America during the late Cretaceous period and took their name from the Aztec feathered serpent god, Quetzalcoatl. They had astounding dimensions, with wingspans reaching up to 15 meters, standing at heights of around 4.8 to 5.5 meters, and weighing between 210 to 250 kilograms. Despite their size, their hollow bones allowed Quetzalcoatlus to soar effortlessly, turning them into formidable aerial hunters. To get a deeper understanding of this creature, you can imagine a flesh and blood airplane, that's how impressive Quetzalcoatlus's size was. Its hunting prowess was virtually limitless, with no creature able to withstand it might. Let's step into the eerie and bizarre world of pythons, legless creatures that can grow to terrifying sizes, and among them, nothing is more fearsome than the Titanoboa. The Titanoboa, an ancient and dreadfully frightening pythons, existed approximately 60 to 58 million years ago, after the extinction of the dinosaurs during the Paleocene epoch. It's estimated to have reached an average length of about 14 meters, weighed up to 1,200 kilograms, and had a maximum body width of around 1 meter at its thickest point. It's officially considered the largest python species to have ever lived on Earth. 
the Titanoboa's diet is believed by scientists to have included creatures in the food chain of the tropical swamp environment in Colombia. The perfect combination of its food source and the tropical swamp environment might have been the decisive factors that allowed the Titanoboa to attain such a colossal size. With this size, it could have easily swallowed a whole elephant. Fortunately for humans, the Titanoboa has gone completely extinct, and all that remains are these terrifying fossils. To put the horror of this species into perspective, we need only look at the largest snakes still in existence today, like the reticulated python and the anaconda, which reach lengths of 5 to 9 meters. Presently, humans have discovered and studied 28 different fossil specimens of Titanoboa pythons, leaving a truly bizarre mark on the evolution of the animal kingdom. Position number 5 on this list belongs to Jacolopterus, a sea scorpion species with a body structure that's almost unrecognizable compared to its terrestrial counterparts. They were top predators that once existed in what is now Germany, living from 460 to 250 million years ago. Even before the time of dinosaurs, Jacolopterus belongs to the ancient sea scorpion species and is one of the two largest arthropods to have ever existed on Earth. They reached lengths of approximately 2.4 meters and were equipped with a tough exoskeleton along with pairs of fearsome sharp pincers. Everything about Jacolopterus is astounding and terrifying, from its colossal size to its remarkable hunting abilities. Let's explore position number 6 on this list. The Mosasaurus, a symbol of terror and dread from the Cretaceous period, the Mosasaurus, a marine reptile is considered the largest carnivorous reptile to have existed from about 70 to 66 million years ago when they lived in Western Europe and North America. They had a head similar to that of a crocodile, equipped with hundreds of sharp teeth resembling professional cutting tools. With a length of around 15.3 to 18.3 meters, the Mosasaurus falls into the category of the largest marine reptiles ever to roam the Earth. While their exact weight cannot be accurately calculated, Estimates suggest they could have weighed between 14 to 22 tons. The Mosasaurus species is a living testament to the Cretaceous period when the oceans were the most dangerous place to be. They didn't just prey on sharks but hunted any creature that could be food. Their brutality led to the extinction of many other marine species. They exhibited absolute tyranny and dominance in the underwater world. Next on the list of prehistoric creatures goes to Forasurhacos a meat-eating bird that might send shivers down your spine. Forasurhacos, a relative of flightless birds in the Forasurhacidae family, made its mark in South America during the Cenozoic era, spanning the Paleogene and Neogene epochs, from about 62 million to 1.8 million years ago. Known for their formidable hunting abilities, they were among the largest flightless birds to have ever existed on Earth. Forasurhacos could reach heights of up to 3 meters, creating an impressive and powerful figure. With long legs and a robust body, they could sprint to catch their prey. Their massive beaks were the decisive weapons in the hunt, allowing them to grab or strike at vulnerable spots on their prey accurately, leaving no chance for their quarry to escape the perilous pursuit. Despite being called birds, Forasurhacos never knew how to fly because their wings were too small to lift their massive bodies into the sky. However, with their speed and agility, Forasurhacos never allowed any creature to escape its ruthless grasp when hunger struck. They were truly among the apex predators of the prehistoric world, marking an essential part of the diversity of ancient ecosystems. Position number 8 on this list belongs to a peculiar sea monster, Thalatorchin, resembling a giant dolphin. Thalatorchin, with a length of nearly 8.6 meters, was a terrifying carnivorous creature, equipped with a large skull and rows of sharp teeth perfect for capturing and slicing unfortunate prey that fell within its gaze. It's considered one of the first carnivorous marine animals capable of hunting larger prey. Thalatorchin played a crucial role in the ecosystem, similar to modern-day killer whales. The fossils of Thalatorchin bear the marks of its ferocity and specialized biological adaptations for the task of hunting and killing. Thalatorchin lived during the Middle Triassic period, Ladinian stage approximately 240 to 235 million years ago. Its existence extended for 8 million years after the devastating Permian-Triassic extinction event when most marine species disappeared. This shows the remarkable resilience of marine ecosystems in recovering rapidly after a catastrophic extinction event. It was one of the most terrifying mass extinctions in history, wiping out about 95% of Earth's marine life. 
Next explore, where we encounter Sarcosicus, a truly astonishing prehistoric monster. Sarcosicus, an extinct genus of Crocodilomorpha, is a distant relative of modern-day crocodiles. It existed approximately 1-1-2 million years ago in regions of Africa and South America during the early Cretaceous period. This creature is one of the largest crocodile-like reptiles to have ever lived on Earth, with a length nearly double that of modern Nile crocodiles and weighing up to around 8 tons. One of the astonishing features of Sarcosicus is its snout, which extends to over 75% of the length of its skull, sporting 35 teeth on each side of the upper jaw and 31 teeth on each side of the lower jaw. This monstrous creature has inspired many American horror films, and you might have seen it depicted as a bloodthirsty predator that's truly terrifying. Finally, on the list of prehistoric monsters, we have the Liaplorodon, a sea beast from the late Jurassic era. Liaplorodon, a powerful creature, was equipped with teeth that could reach up to 7 centimeters in length, with as many as 100 to 210 teeth in each jaw. With this natural weaponry, no creature, whether on land or in the sea, could survive a bite from it. The exact size of Liaplorodon has been a subject of debate, but recent research has estimated them to be about 5 to 7 meters in length. Found in the European and African seas during the Jurassic period, it was one of the top predators, with sharp teeth and a head that comprised one-fifth of its total length. Fortunately, these monsters are now extinct, no longer existing on our planet. If these monsters were still around, there would be nowhere on Earth where we could feel safe, and we would become tiny creatures like ants in their eyes. Perhaps after learning about these monsters, we might feel that all animals are scary in their own ways. Share your thoughts by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by liking and subscribing to the channel so you won't miss out on other fascinating videos in the future. Thank you for watching.